Finally, and I can't stress this enough, finally we're starting to get news and details about the upcoming Doctor Who Centenary Special. Yes, that's right, it does appear the marketing for the upcoming special might be starting to kick off. We're now aware of new leaks, but also cast interviews coming down the pipeline. Let's jump in and see what we know so far. Greetings everyone, I'm Jack and welcome to TARDIS Central. Before we dive into this video, if you want to keep up to date on all the latest Doctor Who news, lore and more, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from the team here at TARDIS Central. You can also follow us on social media for daily updates on the Doctor Who universe. As always, please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, because if you're talking about Doctor Who, then of course we want to hear about it. Our first bit of brand new information comes from the official Doctor Who magazine. The latest issue contained a tease of an upcoming content thing. This content is an exclusive interview with Sasha Dewan, who will preview the centenary special for Doctor Who. Now this is the proper marketing we've been looking for. Might I say it's about time. While we don't have any hints, we can presume Sasha will be talking about his character of the Master, and what he'll do in the upcoming special episode. Additionally, this might be an opportunity to see brand new pictures from the upcoming episode. It would be nice to theorise maybe that we could be getting a release date for the special episode. However, that is likely to come in a new trailer sometime in September, maybe in this week, who knows. So we've got some more information, and that other bit of information we have is about Jodie Whittaker's outfit. Of course, the centenary special is her last episode, but is also celebrating 100 years of the BBC, hence the centenary special title. Doctor Who has been a big part of the BBC's history, with its own 60th anniversary taking place next year. According to The Mirror, Jodie Woods will pay homage to other incarnations of the Doctor by her choice of outfit in the episode. According to an insider, we can expect Jodie and some other actors to be wearing some of the best loved items from a former Doctor's wardrobes. Such items of clothing are reported to be an item like the second Doctor's checkered trousers. The fourth Doctor's striped scarf is also to be included somewhere. Additionally, we've got the fifth Doctor's celery sprig that he used to adorn. I know, it's weird, isn't it? along with the 7th Doctor's question mark jumper, and finally the 10th Doctor's brown and blue tie. You know, I wish someone would wear Christopher Eccleston's 9th Doctor's leather jacket. I think I'd look really suited in personally. I'm just wearing a shirt, but still. Mirror Source has stated the following when asked for a comment. Getting Jodie, and some others, to wear some of the best love items from the Doctor's wardrobes over the decades seems a fitting and perfect way to mark the BBC's 100 year anniversary. Notice the comment says, some others. We know that Tegan and Ace are returning, both were shown in the teasing trailer for the Centenary Special. Janet Fielding and Sophie Eldred are also joined by Gemma Redgrave as Kate Stewart and Jacob Anderson as Vinder. But it has been reported that other Doctor Who companions are turning up, along with the rumours of other Doctors. We explored the rumour of other Doctors in a video last Friday here on the channel. Thumbnail on screen, go check it out. Ok, here is a little theory on how something like this could work out and it is linked to the idea of multiple bits of Doctor Who clothing, so stick around. I've got a theory for why I think multiple bits of previous Doctor clothing could be showing up. Now, what if Jodie's 13th Doctor incarnation is stuck in a phase of shifting between herself? We are doing that David Tennant is perhaps showing up somewhere, as it links into the 60th anniversary special somehow. But what about Shooter Couture fitting in? We know the centenary special will see Jodie Whittaker regenerating, as is her final episode. However, what if a Doctor is stuck in some sort of time shattering event, where she starts phasing between different incarnations of herself? It would certainly be an interesting explanation of why different parts of the clothing from other Doctors could be turning up in the show. It would also link to how the 13th Doctor will regenerate into David Tennant, rather than Shooter Couture. We're presuming this is the case anyway. However, we currently have limited information on how this is going to take place. I did think it was rather interesting to note this theory, as it does lead into what we already know of the 60th anniversary plot. In other news, Bradley Walsh's character of Graham O'Brien is coming back to Doctor Who. He briefly starred in season 11 and season 12, or technically series 11 and series 12, but same thing. It's been reported previously that they would be returning to the show, with his listing appearing on IMDb and rumours that he was on set have been leaking around for some time now, so it's all but confirmed. Filming was taking place on Grange Gardens Cardiff, this was on September 20th, 2021, so almost a whole year ago now. Set photos had revealed that John Bishop and Bradley Walsh were spotted. Also, construction of a TARDIS Prop 1 location was found. Walsh was spotted at a local cafe along with John Bishop. Series stars Jodie Whittaker and Mandy Gill also spotted at the film location with a TARDIS. How Graham will fit into the Centurion special for Doctor Who is currently unknown. 
However, the character was one of the first people to meet the 13th incarnation of the Doctor, so I say it makes sense that he sees her off. I think that as soon as we get the full trailer for the special, we might be able to work out more about what's going on. So as we exit out of August and go into September, my mind that has gone fast, we're going to start hearing more about this continuing special for Doctor Who. We're currently still awaiting a release date for the special episode. October is looking to be the likely option right now, with sources hinting towards that. In terms of a concrete release date, that's still up in the air. It could be airing on Sunday or perhaps a Friday. It's currently unknown. Showrunner Chris Chibnall has said the following about the upcoming special. Don't forget, it's his final state of showrunner as well. Jodie's final feature-length story contains a plethora of treats and surprises for audience and fans, not least the return of two of the most beloved companions in the show's history. They'll be helping the Doctor fight on three fronts, against his deadliest enemies, the Master, Daleks and Cybermen, in one huge story. For the BBC's centenary, we'll be celebrating the past, present and future of Doctor Who in a fittingly thrilling, epic and emotional send-off for the 13th Doctor. Of course, the centenary special is written by Chris Chibnall and directed by Jamie Magnus Stone. The feature-length special will air later this year as part of the BBC's centenary celebrations, with further details to be confirmed in due course, though we expect more news in September and perhaps a trailer very soon. Okay, well let me know what you think of this latest news and information down below in the comment section. I'm excited to see Jodie Whittaker's final episode and also this weird and wonderful outfit that's going on. And quite frankly, I want to know what cameos are taking place in the series. That could be really cool, or in a special, you know what I mean. Like always, if you want to keep up to date on all the latest Doc 2 news, lore and more, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from the team here at Tardis Central. You can also follow us on social media for daily updates on the Doc 2 universe. But for now, I have been Jack. Thank you for watching and we'll see you very soon. Alonzi.